Hey there people, it's Fresh Mark Sense, another fresh review, aka Zest for Life Fragrances. Today I'm reviewing something in a sweaty t-shirt because this is an after sport scent. This is citrusy, fresh, it is none other than Ed Hardy's villain for men. Eau de Toilette? Yes, Eau de Toilette. I don't check these things because uh, longevity speaks for itself. Longevity on this fragrance uh, is being, um, what is it, known to be a clone of Dolce Gabbana, the one, but I don't think it smells similar. It may have a sort of aromatic uh, mid with the cardamom and an almost ginger-esque freshness, but that is, if that's a word, ginger-esque, uh, <laughs> um, of cardamom and basil together used in Ed Hardy's villain. Longevity is about seven hours so i don't really uh, judge it too much as an eau de toilette because the longevity is fantastic for a citrus fragrance um i'm feeling that the notes that come out of this this is actually a melange of notes it doesn't have top middle or bottom notes but the notes that come out of this for me are the first the uh you get uh, pepper amber cardamom, lavender, then you get the after the aromatic mid of uh, cardamom and the opening of citrus is very beautiful bottle by the way, uh, villain comes in a cobra bottle or whatever, so after the aromatic opening and amber, sparkling amber, it's very refreshing, zendy, zesty, slightly sour as well, sour fresh with that bergamot so we get pepper amber um citruses uh cardamom then lavender and then we get into the fresh spicy sweetness of basil and the aromatic and herbaceous sage note at the end so this is fresh throughout from the top note of zesty um citruses with amber and bergamot and punchy masculine pepper to the base of aromatic breath of fresh air. I originally thought there was some patchouli in here, just smelling it off, uh, smelling it off the back of my hand. I was thinking, was it patchouli or sage? Because there is a sweetness to this, the woody note that I mentioned previously that smells like patchouli is actually a combination of the sweetness of basil, the aromatic nature of cardamom, and the fresh spicy woody nature of cedarwood and i believe the sweetness comes from mixing amber with uh, sage and basil amber with basil and bergamot gives us natural sweetness to this fragrance and the notes of uh, sage in the base and citrus on the top create a very refreshing and revitalizing fragrance throughout i use this after gym as you can see, I believe myself that if your shirt is not laughing at the old you, because exercise is all about self-improvement, if your shirt is not laughing at you at the end of your uh, workout session, you haven't trained hard enough. So this is for the people who train hard and who want to stay fresh at the end after a shower, whether it be gym or outside running, this is the go-to. I mean, you could wear this before while exercising as well because it's not too overpowering. But I would say always wear fragrance after a shower. You know, if you want to wear something on a run, sometimes it can be overbearing. But this will be just about there with uh, Gourlain um, Aqua Allegorica Bergamotta, which is another fresh zingy with ginger and bergamot perfume uh, that is... Uh, great for you can actually wear it while going for a run without being overbearing so definitely this is one of my number one uh, fragrances for sport there is a white musk by the body shop but that has gone into a very lavender musky direction and i don't think it is what it was back then the white musk sport is what we're going for in body shop and that i will do a review on that later because that is another great sport fragrance let me know what you think about ed hardy's villain for men eau de toilette uh, as always subscribe like subscribe and uh, thumbs up this uh, content if you like this channel stay free and stay fresh